ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Tech Showdown. My name is Kevin. This is my co-host Teddy, and today we're doing a uh, video that I've really looked forward to doing for quite a while, and I've finally been able to do it. It is going to be an AMD APU showdown with six different AMD APUs. Now, before we jump into that, I just want to let you guys know that I'm doing a bit of a giveaway. I know it's you know I didn't put in the title or anything because I want to see you guys, the guys that uh, always check out my videos. I want to really get back to you. So uh, uh, for this, you can win a Just Cause 3 uh, Steam Key and also a CSGO Steam Key. And I'm going to be giving out uh, four lots of them. So, you know, four lots of Just Cause and four lots of CSGO. So you win both. Now, all you have to do to be into it, and I'm going to make this super, super easy, is uh, go check out my Twitter and uh, follow me on Twitter. I'll leave the link down in the description below. I'll look through uh, all the people that are following me and... I'll just select someone, uh, four different people at random and give them codes. If they don't claim them, I'll give it to somebody else. So that you guys, uh, you know, you know, I'm just rewarding you guys. Yeah, hey, why not? Anyways, let's jump into the different APUs that we have. So, we have the uh, A4 7300. So that's the little Kaveri. Next up, we'll go up in terms of the price. So that's the cheapest. Second cheapest, the A8 7650K. That's also Kaveri. Then we have the uh, 7670K, that's the Godvari. Godvari? Yeah, Godvari. Uh, next up is the 1870700K, that's also a Kaveri. Then we have the 187850K, that's Kaveri too. And finally, we have the uh, highest one I have, the 187870K. Now, these might not be all of them, um, but these are all the ones I was able to get my hands on. So, uh, yeah, it's still going to be a good comparative video, never the less. Now, let's talk about the differences between them. So, um, basically, because it's just Kaveri and Godvari, um, the, the only difference is that like the, the CPU side of things is, um, from my knowledge, exactly the same. However, the GPU side of things, the uh, Godvari ones are kind of like a you know, refresh, they're a bit stepped up. So that's basically the main difference there. Now in terms of what they're actually coming with, uh, we're seeing that the uh, A4 7300 is the only dual core that we're gonna be testing. All the rest are quad cores. Uh, but it still has some quite, you know, decently high clocks there. And then as you see going through, uh, the rest are all the quad cores and the, the clock speeds kind of jump around a little bit. Um, so that's quite interesting. But, you know, at the end of the day, these are just the stock speeds. Now, TDP-wise, so they're all coming with a 95-watt TDP, aside from the A4, which has a 65-watt TDP. Now, for uh, the test rig that I'm using, I'll put the specs down in the description below. And for you people that are going to be, you know, going a bit crazy when you see the new series that's right in the works, is right around the corner, that's about to be coming out. Um, that series was filmed last week and all my testing I've been doing with this rig has been this week so don't worry I wasn't doing anything funny there you'll know what I'm talking about when you see uh, that series coming out so now with all of that out of the way let's jump into the benchmarks and see how all these APUs did so for my testing I did a CPU test which is a Cinebench a uh, GPU test which I used Valley for, a combined test which I used 3D Mark Firestrike, and then two games. So an older, you know, high requirement game in Tomb Raider, and then a newer high requirement game in Rainbow Six Siege. And one other thing is that uh, all of these were done at 1080p maxed out. Now you might be saying, wow, that's, you know, really unfair on these poor little APUs. I do that so that uh, in the future, uh, we can draw comparisons to other graphics cards that I've tested and other things. It's just, I want everything to be on the same level. I don't just want to drop it all down just because they're not made for it. We didn't do it with things like, uh, things like the uh, GTX 950, for example, so I'm not gonna be doing it for these guys, but you know, they're being compared to each other, so it doesn't matter anyway. So let's check out the benchmarks.
So it's quite interesting there. I mean, it's it's pretty linear all the way up, except for the ATN 7700K. This one seems like an exception to the rule in terms of them all going up. I don't know why this did so averagely, um, considering that it should have done better than the A8 7670K. Um, but yeah, just one of those weird things, I guess. Everything else looked about where I wanted it to be. They're all quite low in terms of the actual performance, but that's kind of to be expected. 1080p with full-on graphics is a bit too much for these guys. Um, but yeah, they're, they're more made for, I guess, 720p gaming if you're going to max things out, or maybe 1080p gaming with things on uh, a low sort of setting. But that's all good. Now let's talk about uh, the price. So as you can see on the screen right now, these are the current prices at Playtech that you can go and buy them for. So those are the retail prices I'll be taking. And for this, we're gonna do the uh, performance per frame. So, you know, how much it costs compared to how much um, frame rate it got on average with the benchmarks. So you can see it's quite interesting there going through it. I mean, it, it kind of goes up and down. Definitely um, the 7700K. Yeah, not not the best there. But um, quite interesting was the A8 7650K doing the best there. So I was really pleased to see that. It does a really good job. It's coming in with a great average frame rate for the amount that it costs. It is really quite uh, impressive there. Now let's talk about the temperatures. So this was also a little bit strange. Um, I used the same cooler on all of them, the same knock to a thermal paste, so there was no variation. And um, yeah, quite interesting that they kind of, they go up and down a little bit. I was uh, surprised to see that the A4 I put out a bit more heat than the 7650K. That was quite bizarre, you know, a dual core versus a quad core. I ran these tests, I re-ran them, so I'm really uh, sure about where they were. But um, what's more interesting to me is how hot all of them ran. Now, granted, the 187870K, why it comes in this gigantic box, is because it has a much larger Cooler Master cooler that uh, comes with it by default. So me running it on the same fan as these other guys, you know, in the smaller boxes, is a little bit unfair and part of what you're paying for is that much better stock cooler so keep in mind that that one although it was very high that's on a cooler that wasn't really made for it and if you actually went out and bought one of these yourself uh, it would come with a much much better cooler straight out of the box which brings us now to the conclusion so I've been wanting to test APUs for a while but honestly I've I gotta say that I'm a little bit disappointed with the kind of performance you're getting out of them. I was expecting uh, quite a bit more than what they actually gave me. Nevertheless, if you're looking for an APU, I think this really shows the clear winner as the uh, A8 7650K, uh, this guy right here. Just does a really, you know, solid job. Um, yeah, getting the best performance per dollar and overall just putting up good numbers given the price that it's coming in at. So that's gonna be my main thing here. Um, if you're looking for the best value for money APU out of the six that I've tested, um, then definitely go for the A8 7650K. However, if you're looking just for the best APU, then obviously you can see that the 7870K um, definitely you know, scored the best and it was quite a bit above the other ones, but it's still very close and some of these like the 7700K, I just think flat out shouldn't exist. Um, it, it has no place. Why spend extra money when you're getting the same performance as the 7670K? It makes absolutely no sense. So um, very, very close here, a lot closer than I thought it would be, but yeah, the, the result's the same. Um, the 7650K is the winner. Now I thank you all for watching this video. Please subscribe to Tech Showdown if you haven't already and like the video, and as always, me and Teddy, we'll see you next time.